Hello, everyone. We're here with our speakers for uh, the Web3 and Travel Conference, which will be happening in Barcelona on May 15th. Um, we're glad to speak to them today and learn more about what they're doing, what they've been building in the Web3 and Travel space, um, and what they'll be speaking with us at the conference. So hi, everyone. Welcome. Hi, Gala. Hi. Hi. Hi, Matt. So I will start from you. How are you doing today? I'm really good, thank you. Yep, just touched down in Europe, so I'm saying excited now, looking forward to the conference. See you. Awesome. So tell us a bit about you, uh, your background first. Uh, myself, um, I've worked in the travel industry now for probably the only vertical I've worked in for over the past 10 years. Um, I used to run a company based around music tourism and community. Um, was where I really started seeing the understanding of, you know, recommendations, insights and personalizing experiences, really. So that was uh, a focus for a lot of my a lot of my 20s. Um, and then that, from that was I was living in Croatia at the time and we started to see, um, you know, huge problems with reviews when we were running the tours on the business side of it in terms of the um, the kind of the fake fragmented manipulated reviews and on the, the customer side of it on, on trust. So from that point, we decided to shift uh, you know, into a new business, which focused on building trust in the reviews and recommendation sector. Um, and that's what's kind of built us to where we are today, um, very much building uh, you know, decentralized reviews and web free, which has been a, a transition over the years, um, which we're excited to be at now. Very interesting. So what's, what's the name of your platform? Uh, it's called Trends. And tell us a bit more, where are you at right now? Um, what are you focusing this year? Um, right now, so, so Trends in a nutshell, we're a decentralized review tool um, that leverages blockchain and AI um, to tokenize uh, reviews and feedback data. So in the most simplest way is how can we verify reviews and trust them in a better way for not only the travelers, but for the businesses as well to get a, a fair uh, trust and understanding and transparency for both sides. Um, in terms of where we are at, I was just literally saying to Antonio before you know, we, went, we went live, uh, we were essentially building as an app for a long time, a, a web-free driven app with going on recommendations and reviews and reward-based mechanisms. Um, but then we really saw the value that you know, Trend could be used as a, a software tool for uh, travel businesses globally. So what we uh, ended up creating actually after the Web3 Travel Conference, which I think I do have to say, you know, the inspiration, everyone talking about Web3 and travel and being in a room um, with a lot of forward thinking innovators, you know, especially gave our company and myself a huge spur of, you know, um, you know, creativity and what to do next. And that's where and that's where it's built us to. So right now we're ready with the um, the, the widget we're building on uh, the Camino network, which I believe Pablo is also speaking. We're very excited as a layer one travel um, and we're finishing off the admin section. We've got partners ready to, to utilize trends um, uh, because outside of the verification, we also focus on highlighting important metrics for, that are currently different to what you find on current reviews. So that could be sustainability, inclusiveness, um, authenticity. Um, and, and we believe if we can put that value back into trust, it can also help uh, business and, and direct sales to travel without the need of reliance on third party centralized platforms. And that's essentially what we believe we can, we can offer with Trend. That's great. Um, and great to hear also that you're bringing in like more modern, um, um evaluation param parameters so to say right like if, if a business is um that, like the ones you mentioned which i think when you do reviews right now you focus a lot on like the quality of the service and so on but then also diving a bit deeper into like um the mission of the companies you're working with what kind of causes they support are they green environmental friendly all those things like it's really important nowadays exactly um, and you like well, to say love, you can yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, I was saying, as you say, yeah, it's all about the the idea of verifying information. And that's what blockchain and Web3 can really give. There's so much greenwashing and manipulation on, on, on both sides. And it's very hard to trust. And, and especially why now, right? So with generative AI, it's so easy to manipulate information and, and repeat it without with a few clicks of a button. 
So we, we think it's very important that there's a new element of trust um, and, and reviews are so important, right? You know, everyone will not purchase, you know, uh, something without a review. 85%, I think, of travelers need reviews to make a purchase. But of that, currently, on average, 67% of people don't trust the review system. So if you put those two parts together, it's, it's really fundamental. There's a next stage of reviews, which isn't replacing the legacy, but offering an alternative option that kind of utilizes web free as well. Love it. And I also love the fact that um, you said that you, you, you got some creativity and inspiration from the conference itself and that you're actually building on Camino, which is a layer one really for the travel industry. Um, so it's great to see that this um, community driven conference, right, is it, actually doing its purpose, which is creating links and connectivity between everyone building in this space um, and your a great example of that. So I would love to see what will come out this year um, in terms of collaborations and partnerships and innovations as well. Yeah, I think that's really an exciting part of it, right? Because you can go and speak at panels, you can go and speak at conferences, and this isn't me being paid to say this uh, by the doubt. It's, it's purely that everyone is sees, you know, in their own way, what the future of travel looks like. And it's very hard to find innovators in the space, you know, uh, you know, Luca Antonio, I'd say even last time we all met, to, you know, it was quite an off um, the cuff, you know, trip, me and my business partner going. And from that, relationships have really been developed. And like you say, it's not just at the conference, it's people who really believe in the innovation of future web free travel that support each other. And I don't think you get that in a lot, especially a lot of web two focused businesses, that, that community element. And that's what I think is is really special. Um, I'm really excited to be a part of it again this year. Thanks so much, Matt. Uh, love, love what you bring to the table and excited to, to hear more. Um, Cheers, Carl. Antonio. Look forward to it. Antonio, let's jump to you. Uh, how are you doing today? Where are you calling from? I'm fine, thanks. You calling from Milan, Italy. Awesome. Um, so tell yeah, us a bit more. Yeah, but looking forward to, to, to join everyone in Barcelona, which, which I do believe it, it's better, <laughs> let's say, in terms, at least in terms of weather uh, in, in this period. So, get, Antonio, get closer, get the microphone a bit closer. Pause, try again. Try, can you hear me now? It'd be better, right? Okay. Better. Right. Maybe a bit okay. higher voice. Yeah. yeah, perfect, perfect. So, <laughs> I was saying that, you know, Barcelona, I, I do believe that it's better right now uh, versus versus Milan, at, at least in terms of weather. So very looking forward to, to meet you all there. So just to give you a, a quick introduction about myself. So I have a business background. So I graduated here in Milan uh, in management at Bocconi University. Then I started my career uh, with big companies. So I started as a business analyst in Accenture. Uh, then was not my place, so I moved to uh, Amazon, always here in Milan. Uh, I spent two years as an associate e-commerce manager, and then uh, I started another startup in the travel industry, uh, which was, the name was BotBot. It was a, a service uh, providing a surge and transportation of the luggage during the last day of the stay. So very, very empty, web to and also physical concept. <laughs> so we were moving the luggages, luggage from one point to another. Um, but then, I mean, we we fall in love with, with Web3 uh, opportunities and that's why um, I launched Tachyon. So with Tachyon, we are basically building um, the first ever, I would say, a uh, secondary market for, for travel, travel bookings. And we are doing this right now because uh, Web3 gave us the, the, the opportunity to do that. Uh, because, you know, right now you, you can resell um, more or less everything, every kind of physical good. So from a TV uh, to an iPhone, you can resell uh, a car. You can resell everything. You, you cannot resell bookings. Um, and the biggest difference is that bookings are nominal contracts for services and are not goods. That's why, you know, we had this idea to transform bookings into, uh, into NFT. 
in order to make them digital goods. So to make people, uh, to allow people to own bookings and, and make use of them as they want. Um, we met last time, uh, it was September in Porto. So we haven't launched yet our, our business. So we made just a few experiments, very wet three. Uh, then starting from there in October, we launched our resellable rate, uh, which is like a new rate uh, that you can book as a customer directly on the other website. It's a prepaid, no refundable, but resellable reservation. So you book it on the other website and you can resell it on Tiger, which is like a marketplace. Uh, it's a Web 2.5 experience. So Web 3 technology, but if you are a Web 2 user, you can just have the Web2 experience. Then if you're a Web3 user, you can own the NFT. And I mean, at least for us, it was a big um, a big game changer, the, this new approach. So since October, we sold more than 700K of um, resellable other, other reservations. And we are working right now with more than 40 hotels in Italy, Spain. So, you know, something happened from, from September, but we are still in the very beginning, as I do believe on the Web3 and travel and travel industry. That's awesome. And I love that you focus on the user experience, which is such an important place, especially in travel, um, since you have um, a lot of people from a variety of backgrounds, ages, countries, right? You, you just need to make that as simple as possible. And in Web3, we kind of struggle with that <laughs> in a lot of things, like just downloading different type of wallets, different type of marketplaces, um, gas fees, all that. So the more we can abstract from that and give the user an easy experience, um, I think that that's a game changer. So. Glad to hear you're focusing on that and congrats on, on the growth so far. That's, that's yeah, great. yeah, thank you. Yeah, I do believe that's that's one of the key focus for, for every project or pro in, in Web3 space. Uh, because you know, right now, uh, Web2 is very, is very easy. And I, I also saw the difference between Web3 and AI uh, adoption, which is like how it's easy to use, you know, uh, for instance, uh, AI. So you just write something and it answers. Uh, instead for Web3 adoption, you need to have a wallet, you need to pay in crypto if you want to have that kind of experience. And that's not mass market uh, for sure. So it depends also on what you want to build. Uh, at Tiger, we want to build something which is, which is very huge. So we should target uh, the mass market. And I always make the same as example. No, when I pay with my iPhone, so I just use, you know, double click and that's it. Uh, and I do believe that every kind of user experience should be easy as, you know, pay with your, with your Apple Pay. So, so I totally agree with you that that's one of the key topics in the, in the Web3 space. Yeah, and we, I mean, even Apple Pay took a bit of time to, to arrive, right? I, I Still, like a few years ago, you were running around yeah. the house, finding your MasterCard, putting the numbers in. Um, so we're, we're definitely getting there, I think, at a faster pace than uh, previous technology was, which is um, really good to see. Um, and about the resellable concept of those reservations. So right now, like you have the NFT that represents the whole experience, like could it be like a one week in a hotel, the specific hotel, and then when you resell it, so now you become the owner of that, do you make a percentage on the sale in a secondary market? Um, does, um, you know, can you change the price of that? How does that work? Yeah, you as a customer, like the, 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 the customer experience, so it starts from where it starts now, uh, but just for the direct channel. So you can book the resellable rate just on the hotel website. So you go there, you book through the resellable rate and you receive uh, the email from the hotel, of course, and you receive also the email from Taken. So you have a link, you click on the link and you are just redirected to Taken. So you have um, in that time, the, the booking 
connected to your account and you can just, of course, just enjoy the stay. So it's just an opportunity, you know, to, to resell the booking. So you don't, you don't, don't have to if you, if you, if you want to go. Uh, otherwise, it's very easy. You just uh, put it on sale. So, and you can decide as a customer the price, the resale price. So you're not dependent on the, the booking price. So you can adjust uh, your price uh, versus the market value. Or I mean, if you want to sell it as soon as possible, you can put it lower. You can also make money, of course, from that because you can buy uh, a lot in advance and then resell it at a higher price. So you actually own your reservation as you own you know, a pair of shoes when you buy it. So that's, that's the same idea. And you just pay as a customer 5% commission when you resell the booking. And we took 2.5% of that five and we give back to the hotels the other 2.5%. So in this way, we are also creating you know, um, a new revenue stream for hotels. Uh, they don't have it right now because there is no secondary market. So they can earn from this secondary market and they can also be in the game of the secondary market because they can be the one that are buying back the booking from the customer and reselling the booking on their direct channel. So it opens, you know, a, a lot of new opportunities and a new way of thinking about bookings. Love it. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, digital assets, like just NFTs being digital assets, they, they can attach values, you can trade, you can it really create a whole new um, economies that, like you said, we did anticipate before, even with reviews, uh, as Matt mentioned, like you could have a profile, you could build up credit and points that maybe you can then go and exchange for actual booking. Yeah. Right? So exactly. And that's, that's what we, I didn't really... Uh, sorry, God, I didn't really mention that, but yeah, definitely where we have the reward based mechanisms, the utility in the um, the reviews, which are the NFTs can then be used on further travel bookings. We're looking to bring in, um, you know, things like offsetting carbon um, and uh, and be able to stake. So there's different options. So, you know, essentially you want to give authenticity to the ecosystem but you're being rewarded for your authenticity. So then the business is getting better and the people are actually getting more trust, but you're not there trying to you know, bribe someone. I think that's what, you know, similar to what Antonio is saying, it opens up so many more um, sources and revenue streams and opportunities when you open up, you know, secondary market levels. And Luca, let's hear it from you. How's the um, conference planning going? I know you, uh, we already, Got to meet you. I would love to hear what are you preparing for us uh, for the event? Well, um, I would say the most interesting angle is that um, this conference is, yes, is an open conference. Anybody who wants to come can buy a ticket and, uh, and come. But most value at this stage will come out from uh, what Matt was mentioning. It's like people in the industry meeting in the same place for a few days and exchanging ideas. So, because that's what happened in Porto, and we expect this to happen in Barcelona too. So we try we try to organize some side events uh, in which we can meet. Uh, for instance, okay, of course, the the day before we're gonna have a meeting of the DAO. People organize it just to you know synchronize and coordinate for the the next day. The evening we're gonna have a dinner with the speakers and the DAO. The next day in the morning, we're going to have a meeting of the industry. So anybody working in the industry, we're going to have, a, you know, four hours sitting down and, and discussing things. Um, maybe, well, the, the subject is like how to, um, you know, start this journey together in a more coordinated way. Uh, I think I was mentioned this last time. So in, in the end, we will fight, we will compete because this is natural. And that's what actually what brings value. But at the beginning, maybe we can set some common ground. Uh, and in my opinion, the most important thing would be uh, composability. So the fact that reviews made, uh, so let's start from bookings made by Tachyon can accept reviews made by Trend. And on the Camino blockchain, maybe, um, you know, any any company which comes to mind um, uh, in this conference, if we, we are able to build each one of us one app, which is that compatible with the others, then we are building an ecosystem without even realizing it. 
of course, this is not easy. There's too many blockchains, etc. But the idea is like, okay, this is not the time to fight yet. Let's try to to build standards. Like you know, the, oh, the car industry, the, the, at the end, they ended up building everything standardized to to bring down costs, something like that. So yeah, it's it's gonna be an interesting conference for anybody who is interested in Web three in travel. Uh, but mostly it's gonna be a an industry symposium. And I'm, I'm sure, you know, network, networking will be important. People will meet each other. They will discuss things. And it, it's going to bring value in this way, in my opinion. Love it. Yeah, we definitely love the idea of thinking about the ecosystem that we're building in, right? Um, it, we're growing but nascent um, industry vertical. So I think, like you said, just seeing those partnership opportunities, identifying those early on makes a huge difference um, in the long run. And even for the user, like if the user enters one way, like they will enter yeah. through Tachyon, but they will end up on um, um, trends or another platform just because everything is kind of interconnected. So yeah, so everybody becomes uh, uh, like um, um, every app, every startup, becomes an onboarding mechanism for everybody else so hopefully it goes this way you know we'll see but uh, the conference will certainly the fact that we meet in barcelona will certainly make this easier it's a good ethos and i think it's a lot different than what we've seen with um early on in the in the blockchain space where you have that different conferences for different blockchains and all that different communities forming and now it's everything is about multi-chain connectivity bringing everyone together okay like this didn't quite work like that we really need to work um, as a team and build things that scale and that are seamless for the end user so um seems like we're starting to build that way since the beginning which is uh, which is it, great the mental model is DeFi, right? Where somebody built a Uniswap, somebody else Aave, and everything was interconnected, still interconnected. Actually, multi-chain started breaking this a little bit, but uh, that's the mental model. And uh, if you want to compete with the, the existing uh, companies, which are all siloed, everyone, you know, Airbnb and Booking don't share anything apart from a few calendars in iCal and all the rest has to be done through third parties, channel manager, property manager systems. We we have the opportunity to build something which is small, but all together we become bigger. And yeah, so let's see how, how this goes. I really hope it goes that way. It'll be more fun too. Because if, you know, like let's say Tachyon starts building a lot of, getting a lot of bookings and then, okay, now we need to grow. Let's build reviews on top of it. It would be easier if the reviews were ready already, you know, and Takyun can concentrate on on the bookings, something like that. But we see, we see, it's a free word, so people are also free to compete, and it does make sense. So, love it, um, and I would love to hear from uh, you guys too. What are you looking forward um, to the conference? Um, what what will you be speaking about? And yeah, just uh, maybe we can start with Matt. Yeah, I, I think I, I touched on it mostly briefly, and it's exactly what Luca says. You know, it, it's the it's the coming together of different companies, different minds, different backgrounds, but all have you know ultimately the the same vision. You know, web free. Um, you know, changing the travel industry, um, and that's what you know personally I'm excited about. You know, coming and listening to what Antonio and the Tachyon team have, you know, had their challenges and overcome and, and done great. What, who's Luca, you know, got his finger on the pulse with at the moment that's actually, you know, building, whether it's halfway across the world, you know, where we made, you know, big changes, why we made these changes. You know, I had someone contact me, you know, who's building a web free um, recommendation app, right? And I, you know, I jumped on with them the other day saying, okay, we moved from this um, this is my experience. This is what I think would help you. And I think that's the beautiful part I'm excited about the conference is the sharing because, you know, you, when you leave, you, you ultimately have a stronger understanding of, you know, what you can do and where things are going from that collaboration um, and rather than sitting in a room with your own team. And I think there is that exciting opportunity to start working, um, you know, and partnering to help each other, you know, like as Luca says, yes, you're 
um, you know, at the end goal, you might have in a 10 year vision, okay, Tap you on and go, we're going to do reviews. And we go, okay, we're going to do bookings. But right now, we want to build utility. Perfect. Sit down and talk to Antonio. Maybe they want to do reviews. And like Luca says, if you can build that standard and it's similar to what, you know, even the Camino guys are looking at as well, I think that's, you know, the most exciting part for me. Um, and I think the, well, what I'm going to focus on is really um, what decentralized reviews means. Um, and overall, what can be brought in with web free um, technology to build trust? Um, and there's lots that kind of goes into that. I know I want to you know, really focus on where that break of it trust is at the moment. You know, look at some kind of use cases, look at the statistics, what people have with the problems of the market um, and how, you know, using web free technology we can change this, whether it's, you know, the incentivizing people to make more reviews, whether it's, you know, how can we verify more reviews? How can we turn reviews into NFT? So people have their own ownership. They're not just writing on a centralized platform. So it's a lot of what we encompass with our mission with Trend, but the essential, essentially it's the core subject of reviews and how web free um, can, can build this, you know, this trust back is what I'll be focusing on. How about you, Antonio? I totally agree with Matt and Luca. So I do believe that also, you know, everyone is building uh, a business um, and it's in, in his on her early stage of, of you know, the, the, the journey knows how is, you know, easy to have an idea, but how it's difficult to implement it. So I do believe that we have uh, a big opportunity to share ideas, to share challenges, uh, because uh, as you said, everyone, that's that's not the time for for competition. You know, uh, that's the time to to grow together, uh, because we will enjoy then uh, the growth of, of this kind of of industry in Web three into the Web three space, and it's very exciting, you know, to to be there. Uh, we, we industry leaders of, of the future, so that that's very that's very cool. And in terms of Titan, I mean, I'm gonna talk about um, this new secondary market. So we are building something which is uh, very new for the industry. Uh, there are a lot of opportunities for everyone. So for businesses, for customers, uh, everyone is can enjoy can enjoy from that. Um, so and, and there are a lot of business models that can be built on top of that because you know we're building a b2c uh, a c2c actually a marketplace but it can be also b2b2c it can be b2b it can be not just hospitality but also transportation experiences so it's it's very huge and i mean i'm, I'm very curious about you know um, knowing the how how the others are, are seeing uh, this, this new secondary market so it's very exciting to, for me Awesome. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if you have considered doing even like hackathons, like online um, idea tons or hackathons, you know, it doesn't need to involve code, but um, just putting kind of like your, your infrastructure, or like your idea there and letting people come up with creative ways they could leverage it and um, start doing that way. So um, I've been involved with um, a lot of hackathons and like at first I, I thought they were super technical and then quickly realized that it's much more like this creative ground for for people to use the technology and find different ways to implement it like creative ways um, so maybe that's an area you could explore um, as well to to you know pull into everyone who's willing to bring things to the table and and build it together yeah no, cool. super cool idea actually we are gonna do that <laughs> Yeah, feel free to ping me. <laughs> Have um, there's a, a lot of um, communities around the world that focus on that. I think Hacker Earth is one that gives you a pool of creators, builders, developers around the the globe. Um, I work with Crypto Chicks, which focus on um, bringing women and girls and also like younger generations into the space. And they just launched in Mexico. Um, they have um, chapters in Pakistan, Barbados. So it's really interesting to get like also, um, you know, like younger people coming to collaborate into this as well. So I think, um, yeah, that's something 
as an industry as a as a nascent vertical we can also pull in and um just give more people opportunity to build in this space um and find ways to you know build companies um or maybe just bring their expertise to the table be it like marketers developers and and i think in the travel industry there's just everyone loves travel everyone loves experiences so then if you can also find a way to monetize this and get involved um, I think this is a great way so what's the best way for people to stay in touch with you guys if they want to learn more about what you're building if they want to connect um, yeah where, where where can they find you uh, you can go, for, uh, I'll jump in. Um, everyone can follow us on trend.io is our, is our website and uh, trend app is our socials. Um, so yeah, please reach out to us. We love, we really are a big team for, for feedback, the good, bad, the ugly. So uh, we'd love to hear people's thoughts. Yeah, the same for us. So the website, takim.io and also, you know, you can connect directly on LinkedIn. So it's very easy. Just send a message and we can chat. <laughs> about everything and the only way to reach me is to be in barcelona on the 15th <laughs> i have no email no phone no linkedin nothing <laughs> be there or be square <laughs> yeah, what about you carla um me i would say linkedin or twitter um are where i'm most active so yeah you can find me on linkedin uh, or carla at carla underscore crypto on twitter happy to chat maybe you're going to be at the next conference next year yes so, so we, right we will actually yeah. young baby <laughs> so oh, it's hard to travel um but yeah next year for sure okay congratulations Thanks. so uh we will present the the 2024 conference um we haven't decided where because it's going to be decided by the dao so people who hold the nft so um, we'll be able to vote uh, but we will propose one location already, which we found, um, just to get you know the discussion started. And we also, as Trips community, are going to present. We're not really going to present. We're going to show a very quick video about something we've done last month, uh, without really saying what it is. It's just a hint of of some new project we have, and uh, so that's going to be fun too. Look, okay, you're dropping some alpha here. So it's yeah. like, we, we uh, really need alpha, to be yeah. there. Something big is coming. Yeah, hopefully. Love it. <laughs> awesome. Anyone has anything else they would like to share? Nope. Really, really appreciate the, the call. I'm really excited to meet everyone and reconnect with old faces and meet new faces. It's, uh, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the video call after the conference a month after on what everyone's done in the speed after more than anything yes same here so very looking forward to to, to join the event and, and meet again everyone especially luca because i mean as he said we can just met <laughs> we can just sit at, at, at the conference so <laughs> i have yeah, to, go yeah. to, to be there to know how he is going I love the idea of also doing like a follow up. So part four of this um, call where we actually meet after the conference and we share um, the, the main highlights for everyone who couldn't be there um, and also just the kind of connections you guys built. So um, let's plan for that. Good idea. Stay tuned yeah, for part four. I think that's going to be an exciting one as well. Perfect. Thanks, everyone. Uh, thank you for your time and looking forward to meet you in Barcelona. Thank you. Perfect. Cheers, Carla. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.